Okay, everybody, we're back and we're going to take a look at array operations. Now, you, you may not use this a lot, but when you do need it, it's going to come in really handy. And um, an array, if you're not familiar with it from programming, is essentially a collection of things. So maybe you would have uh, 145, 6, 800. And you would have them as kind of a list or a, a collection of things. Um, every programming language has an array. You know, some of them are more flexible than others. But in any event, you can get this data in Postgres. Sometimes you store things in an array. Maybe you would store a list of keywords or a list of coordinates or something like that. So I just wanted to think about this in the context of getting um maybe we could try to get the uh the actors in every film so first i just set up a really simple uh query here where we're getting the film id and the number of rows returned from joining film to film actor and that's going to get me a count basically of which films have the most actors and let's order by two descending and you'll see that film ID 508 has 15 actors. So that was a pretty good film, had a lot of actors. Uh, what if we wanted to get all the actor IDs into an array? Well, let's get rid of the count for just, just a hot second here, and let's just grab the actors. So FA star. I have nothing to group by yet. So we have film ID, we have the actor ID. All right, so here's our kind of, and let's just order by the film ID. All right, so film one, we've got all these actors. What if for every actor in this film, I, I wanted to get it into a separate column where it was just a, an array? Maybe I was going to use that. Maybe I'm going to use it for some kind of analysis in Python or R or some other scripting language. But I really didn't want to have this this uh, breakdown layout here. So there's an interesting array operator that they give you, and it essentially we're going to leave the count here because it, it'll make some sense. Uh, let me just we're going to group by. Make sure it still works, group by one. Don't need that comma. All right, but we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say array aggregate and we're gonna aggregate actor ID. And let's see what happens here. All right, so now we just have the film we have the number of rows for it, and that number of rows corresponds to the number of actors, which all happen to be in this array now. So that's kind of interesting. We have this array. Note that the type of the array is a small integer in statically typed programming languages and also in Postgres. When you use an array, you have to specify the the type that it holds. Is it going to be an array of strings? Is it going to be an array of small integers, big integers, uh, maybe even floats? There are probably a lot of data types, but you need to specify it. So now we have this interesting data set of the film and the items. And let's look at some other operations that you could do. If you just wanted to, say, take the first few elements of the array and copy this down, and I think just like, uh, let's just slice the first element. Let's see, why is it getting mad at me? Maybe I have to wrap this up in a, a set of parentheses. Okay. Yeah, so this is the way to get the first element. In a language like Python, you might do something like this because it's a, it's a zero-based array indexing. But in Postgres, it's not, um, you can do one, you can do one to one. That'll give you the same result, but it will return an array 
you can do, you know, say 99 even, what's going to happen there? It's just going to give you everything. It's not going to error out if it doesn't find the 99th element. None of these have 99 elements. Keep in mind that uh, the biggest one is 15. So we can just take, you know, just for illustrative purposes, take the first three. Um, another thing you could do is you can sum. So the syntax is a little weird. Select uh, sum, say x, and you have to do something called unnesting it. So let's get the array that we have here. We're going to unnest it. And we're calling it x. Let me see if this works. <laughs> that blew up on me. Maybe, yeah, uh, so maybe we need more uh, parens here. And I think I did not put this in my unnest. So that might work. X, sum x from unnest array ag fa actor id. There we go. So essentially, this is uh, you know kind of convoluted syntax, but you can dig it up pretty easily when you need to. Imagine your array was actually filled with order values, or some other numerical value that you were grouping by that was related to each film or each customer. Uh, this would be one way to kind of get them into a, an array format for processing at a later time in your scripting language of choice but you can also perform some basic aggregations on it. So that's, uh, that, that's arrays. I didn't want to spend too much time on it, but this is kind of neat. Instead of kind of just counting the number of rows, you can actually get all the values that the count is uh, identifying and put that into an array. So pretty cool stuff. Just wanted to show it to you.